606,000. Net migration is 606,000 people into 2022. Lower than expected, Tom. Yeah, and that's what we're seeing from the ONS in these figures which have just been published. So they're saying that, I mean, it is a high figure. It's still higher than the 500. Thousand, more than 500,000 we had in the previous release uh, for the six months previous. Um, and where that has come from is in work and study visas and in humanitarian visas. So uh, work, obviously, a lot of that is going into health and social care. There's a specific visa route for that. Uh, study visas, we know that's become very popular post-pandemic as well, but also because of the graduate route, which lets students stay for two years afterwards if they're working. But also humanitarian, you know, these are very popular with the public. That's things like Afghan uh, resettlement, Ukrainian resettlement, Hong Kong resettlement. But what the ONS is saying is that all of those seem to be slowing in terms of their growth. So this is higher than it was before, but it is a levelling off. It's not the million figure that we saw or the figures of around 700,000 that a lot of people were expecting today. Um, so this is, um, yeah, less than we were expecting, really. Uh, still high, but seems to be tapering off. So that'll probably be good news for the government. It is still a record figure. Though. There's lots to go through here. We'll be going through it throughout the day, but I think that is the headline. It's less than expected, still very high. Mm.